a cikin shirin namun yan za ku ji cewa kasar Jamus ta sassauta matakan baiwa baki takarda zama yan kasa sannan za mu kawo muku hira da wani da ya dade yana sauraron sashin Hausa na Muriya Amurka kan cikar sashin shekaru 45 da kafuwa kuma kowace ranar Asabar Ibrahim Kalmasi garba zai shigo mana da shirin sa na amsocin tambayoyin ku amma kafin nan sai a gyara zama sauraron labaran duniya to jama'a assalamu alaikum a Najeriya garkuwa da akai da wasu yan mata yan gida daya a Abuja babban birnin kasar na ci gaba da shan suka tare da haifar da fargaba a fannin tsaro a tsakanin mazauna birnin daya daga cikin ahalin wadanda akai garkuwa da su ta fada wa kamfanin jalancin labarai na AAP cewa a farkon wannan wasu yan bindiga suke garkuwa da yan uwanta bayan da suka fada gidansu dake da tazara kilomita 25 daga tsakiyar birnin na Abuja ta kara da cewa yan bindigar sun halaka na biha alƙadiriya mai shekaru 21 bayan da aka gaza cika wa'adin kai kudin fansar da suka nema matsalar garkuwa da mutane ta zama ruwan dare a wasassan Najeriya inda yan bindiga kan tsare babbar hanya ko su kai hari gidaje ko makarantu don sace mutane wing komanda Musa Isa mai sharhi ne kan sha'anin tsaro a Najeriya dole fa a danga amfani da fasaha wurin gano mutanen nan na farko the most important shi ne cewa ai preventing a gano su tanka mun su kai su farga ko kuma su kai wannan harin a tsaida su saboda kar su kai hara to sau'i bayan wata tattaunawa ta waya da prime minister Israila Benjamin Netanyahu da shugaban Amurka Joe Biden suka yi yayin ganawa da manema labarai shugaba Biden bai bada muhimmanci ba kan matsayin da ya dauka ta rashin amincewar sa da Netanyahu kan batun samar da kasa Palestine a matsayin wani abu da za a iya yi idan an kammala yakin da ake yi Biden ya fada manema labarai a fada White House cewa akwai hanyoyi da za a bi wajen samar da kasashe bi masu zaman kansu a yankin inda ya kara da cewa mai yiwa Netanyahu ya zabi ɗaya daga ciki The president still believes in the promise and the possibility kaka kin bayar tsaron amurka jin ka biki ne ke cewa har yanzu shugaba Biden yana mai amana cewa za a iya samar da kasashe biya tsakanin Isra'ila da Palestine amma dai lamari ne da sai an yi tukin tsaye wani hari da aka kai kan wani gida a Damascus babban birnin Syria a yau asabar ya halaka dakarun tsaron juyin juye halin kasar Iran hudu a cewa hukumomin kasar wadanda suka dora lakin harin akan Isra'ila hukumar mun tsaron da karin juyin juyin halin sun tabbatar da aukar lamarin ne a wata sanarwa da suka fitar da ta kafar yada labaran kasar ta Iran ita dai Isra'ila ba ta ce uffan ba kan harin wacce dama ba ka safe take magana ba idan ta aikata wani abu a Syria labaran na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na Muryar Amurka a birnin Washington DC wanda tare ya turai ta ce za ta kara himma wajen kera makamai a wani mataki na ganin ta kai wa ta kai mai Ukraine dauki kan kiran da take yi na neman tallafi a yakin da take yi da Russia wanda yanzu aka dushi shekaru biyu da farawa commissioner kokin kasuwancin cikin gida na kungiyar ta EU Thierry Breton ya ce nan da zuwa karshen shekarun nan za su iya samar da harsashe a kalla miliyan 1.3 wannan sanarwa na zuwa ne yayin da kungiyar tsaro ta NATO ke shirin gudanar da wani atisai a mako mai zuwa yayin da ake fargabar yakin na Ukraine da Russia za iya fantsama zuwa wasu kasashe na hiyar Turai Top officers say the drills are to show that the alliance can defend all of its territories the launch labarai na AP kenan take cewa manyan jami'ai sun ce wannan atisai na tauna tsakuwa ne domin aya ta ji tsoro a kuma nuna cewa kungiyar za ta iya kare yankunanta har zuwa kan iyakar Russia Algeria da Burkina Faso sun tashi da cibi da biyu a wasan da suka kara a gasar kofin nahiyar Afirka ta Afkon da ake yi a Ivory Coast. Dan wasan Burkina Faso Mohamed Kanote ne fara zura kwallo a ragar Algeria gab ana shirin tafiya hutun rabin lokaci. Sai dai bayan an dawo daga hutun dan wasan Algeria Baghdad Bonija ya farke kwallon abinci na 51. A cikin minti na 70 ne kuma Burkina Faso ta sake samun wata damar inda dan wasan ta Bertrand Traoré yanzu da kwallo ta biyu a raga Algeria ta hanyar bugun penaliti sai dai muna ta koma ciki ga yan wasan Burkina Faso bayan da Bonija ya zura kwallo ta biyu a raga su hakan dai ya kara wa Algeria kwarin guyuwar samun zuwa zagan yan sha shida yanzu dai Burkina Faso ce a saban table rukunin da da maki hudu Algeria na biye da ita da maki biyu labaran duniya aka saurara daga nan sashin Hausa na Muryar Amurka a birnin Washington DC
yanzu kuma za mu bude taskar rahotannin mu majalisar dokokin jamus wato bundestag ta amince da wata sabuwar doka da ta sassauta matakan baiwa baki yan kasa shan ketare da marzama yan kasa doka ta rage shekarun mallakar passport daga 8 zuwa 5 lamarin da yasa miliyoyin yan kasa shan ketare suke ta nuna farin cikin su a game da wannan dokar musamman yan kasa shan afrika da ke rayuwa kasar wakili amurya amurka atura ira matu garba baba na atawikeda rahutu da gabon tu bayende anjuma ana kairu wa rana rana juma arda taga bata mazalisar doko kenja mstabunda stag ta aminche da bewa wada nda soka shapa shikaru biyara kasar paspo na langasa ame mokon shikaru takwa zuwa goma da aki shapi wa achambaya sanar wal shaka babu taje fa dibba mata ne cikin yanayi na farin ciki wasu yan kasashen afrika da muryar amurka ta tattauna da su su ma dai sun bayyana yanda suka ji bayan samun wannan labarin ni ne dr abdalla yusuf hafiz garba sakoto baki da suke da zama a jami'an da rayuwar su na da wuya domin su samu yancin zama a cikin wannan gari da sauki yazo to ai mu zamu hamdala sunana umma ali musa babban farin cikin da jama'a suka yi shine akwai abubuwa da dama da wannan sabon doka ya taimaka ya kawar akan wata halin da ake samu na na da na farko dai mai makon shekara 8 zuwa 10 mutum a cikin shekara 5 ma sai iya samun passport to ya zaka dai akwai da dama wanda sun yi shekara biyar ko sun fi ma so wannan ya zama su abun farin ciki ne nan da za su samu na sunana muhammad awal ya to ana ta alhamdulillah mi sun kawo sauki dai yanda suka yi ne yayi dai dai yayi dai dai kwarai kwa kashi 18 cikin dari dai na al'umar jamus baki ne kamar yanda kididdiga kasar ta nonar to yanzu dai sabuwar dokar ta amince mutun ya ci gaba da amfani da passport na kasar sa ta asali sabanin yanda a baya dokar ta jamus bata yadda da hakan ba sai dai akwai kasashe kamar Ghana da Kamaru da dokar kasar su bata amince musu zama ɗan wata kasa ba baya ga kasar a lokaci guda Leo King dan Kamaru ne da ke son ganin gwamnatin kasar sa ta janya wannan haramcin I received the news with so much joy However, as a Cameroonian, I am sad because my country, despite the new law of the world of France, my country, Cameroon, has accepted the world of France. As a result, if one has to get the government nationality, it will be now the European Union. The government has to get the government nationality, and it will be now the European Union. It will be now the new law on dual nationality. Sabuwa dokar ta tanadi abeya watan da suka cika shekaru uka kasar katin dan kasa na dindindin musamman ga watan da suka bada himma a lakantar harshen jamusanci da ma sajewa da al'adun kasar wannan yasa Dr. Abdullah Yusuf Hafiz Garba Sakwato masanin zaman takewar iyali ya karkashin ma'aikatar harkokin cikin gidan jamus ya kara jan hankalin rukunin da ke fatan samun takardar koyan yaren garin wajibi ne ko don lokaci dukkan tulin shekarun da kai a cikin wannan gari sai an kawo ma wanda je ma translation to shi kaga nan da nan shi suka ji da kai kuma ya kiyaye da sabawa ma dokokin gari kun kai qualifying a baka citizenship a yau she sun je sun yi bincike irin naka rayuwa a cikin wannan gari kana da wasu criminal acts almisali rashin gaskiya da ita adanci to suka ga haka game da wannan ya ibar su hana ana ba wasu amma kai shi a hana ka kuma suna da gaskiya to paspo na kasar jamus de na de daga cikin paspo na mafi karfi a duniya inda yake bayar da damar shiga kasashe a kalla 190 ba tare da visa ba ramat garba baba muryar amurka daga birnin bon na tarayyar jamus a gaida ramatu garba baba da wannan rahoton a ci gaba da kawo muku rahotanni na musamman da shirye-shirye dan gani da cikar sashin Hausa na muryar Amurka shekaru 45 da kafuwa a hirarsa da wakilin mu Mustafa Nasir Batsari wani mai sauraro da ya dade yana bibiyar shirye-shiryen muryar Amurka ya bayyana irin shirin da masu sauraro suka fuso a tsahon shekarun da sashin ya kwashe yana watsa shirye-shiryen sa 
to da farko dai suna na zaido ba la kofa sabo birnin kebi shugaban kungiyar murya ta Lakka na kasa to gaskiya sashi Hausa wadannan shekaru da ya kwashe sama da 40 ba karamin abin ayaba na ba kuma a jinjida saboda kun kikkiro shirar rukka masu muhimmanci sosai wadanda sun kai yawa yadda al'umma musamman ma kasashen da ka unwani da harshe Hausa wannan sashi Hausa na murya Amurka ya zama kamar makaranta a gare mu ko kuma mu ce babban jami'a saboda duk mai sauraron sashi Hausa na murya Amurka zai unwani da abubuwa sosai sosai musamman ma shirar rukkan ku ai an ka faro tun daga halakar ilimi halakar kiyon lafiya halakar noma halakar tsaro babu wani sashe da babu wani bangare na ci gaban bil adama wanda sashi hausa na murya amurka ba su tafo kai ne ba dan haka muna ganin da cewa koyo shi koyo shi duk mai sauraron sashi hausa na murya amurka zai unwane da abubuwa hanci sosai musamman ma yadda kuka gayyato matsana masu ilimi tuna wayar da ka al'umma koyo shi dan haka wannan abu abin ayaba na da wata Allah ya gwada muna koyo shekaru mai ki to menene shawara musamman ga ma'aikatan sashin Hausa na murya Amurka akan aikin su to shawara da zan ba sashin Hausa na murya Amurka su rike aikin su su saki shi na kasa gaba saboda kasashe da yawa na suka wa aiki to duk kasar da haka wa aiki in Najeriya ta in Niger in Kamaru in Chadi ka tsaya ka yi abin da ya dace kuma da al'ummar da hake cikin su kaka dauko report saboda aiki do babu aiki wanda adda hadari duniya irin aikin jarida musamman ma aikin radio dan kure kadan zai jawo sanadin tashi hankali da rikici wanda ba a taba tsammani ba to kun ga da cewa shekarun bayan har zuwa yanzu Allah ya kare ma'aikatan sashin Hausa na murya Amurka ga irin shiga wadannan abubuwa to shi yasa muke kira gare ku muke kara ba ku shawara kuma muke kira gare ku da babban murya ku rike akidar nan ta aikin jarida dan jarida abokin kowa yadda kuka nuna kowa naku na sashi Hausa na murya Amurka ha ganin ko shiga lungu da sako ko dokon tare da an ce a biya ba ko wani abu duk abin da kuka yi kyau kamar jihadi na kuka ka abubuwan nan ku rike ku sa kishin kasa gaba kasashen mu musamman ma na lafiya Africa to yanzu Haji Zaidu kaman akwai wani shawara da kake gani a cikin shirye-shirye wanda kake gani ya kamata a yi gyara ko kuma a ci gaba da shi a haka to musamman ma shirin da koyo shi duka sai kare ba da shawara akwai ra'ayi daga bakin mai shi wanda kuka ba da dama rana asaba da lahadi da sahi masu saurare na yatuwa su wadi albarkacin bakin su ba albarkacin baki ba a wadi ra'ayoyi wadanda na a gyara na zuwa ga shugabanni da talaka wannan shiri yana da muhimmanci sosai kuma an yi shekaru ana yi ne kuma yanzu ba a yi ne saboda masu saurare na unwana da shi talakawa na unwana da shi saboda mu masu saurare muna ganin abin da ku ma'aikatan ba ku gani to shi ya samu a ganin da cewa wasu shirye shiryen ku duk da an ka bari lafiya lawan su ke kangarar ana sauraron su yadda ya kamata amma shi wannan shiri na ra'ayin masu saurare wanda aka yi rana a sabar da lahadi da sahi wanda mutane ka bari ra'ayin su na akwate barin sako ta sashi Hausa na murya Amurka to wannan shiri mu masu saurare muna so a meso muna shi to daga karshe yanzu Haji Zaidu bala wace fata kake yi ma gida radio nan na murya Amurka to fatar da nika wa wannan gida na murya Amurka babu abin da nika yi muku fata illa Allah ya biya ku Allah ya saka muku da alheri kuma wannan ci gaba da kun ka kawo mun san da cewa dole mu jinjina muku musamman ma wasu ma'aikatan ku sun yi aiki tare da ku sun bari wasu suna cikin aiki kuma Allah ya dauke rayuwarsu to shine dole duk abin da za a yi mu yi muku ta'aziyya irin rashin da an kai tun daga shekarun baya har zuwa yanzu musamman ma daga jahuriyar Niger irin su lawal bukar maini kuma hukuma irin su ta adatu muhammad fawu irin su lada ibrahim ayawa irin su baba mu ka biru fage irin su aminu dallo sahabi duk jajar tun ma'aikatan ku wadanda Allah ya karbi rayuwarsu muna kare muku ta'aziyya Allah ya ji kansu da rahama saboda tsakani da Allah wadanga da nilisawa kowa ya san jajar tun ya adawa na musamman ma ibrahim abdul aziz 
Allah ya ji kansu Allah ya huta shesu Allah ya shi kamusu rama Sabwa da ba yi wa ache shi karong gada anka yi Ba atuna da watan nambayang Allah ba Watan da sunka wada gudu mwa So ena ya muko ta aziya su kuma Yang unji ya mbule ya tela kaga bata yi Awate na jere ya suna ta aziya Watan na na shere shere mwanka yi Madala Yanzu kuma gashiru mwana gaba Masa sawarara mu assalamu alaikum baraka mu da saki saduwa a wannan shirin na amso shin tambayoyin to yau za a ji ansar tambayoyin masu sawarara mu da dama ciki har da umar gashuwa da adamu dambowa da saidu mamani kanu da ke son takaitaccen tarihin mulkin mallaka a afrika musamman ma najeriya to idan masu tambayar na saurare ga ansar da masanin tarihi na cibiyar Arewa House Kaduna Dr. Salisu Bala ya bayar a da farko kamar da aka sani turawa na yammacin duniya sun yi ma kasashen Afirka da kasashen Asiya mulkin mallaka a shekaru da dama da suka gabata kasashen tura da suka yi ruwa suke tsaki wurin mulkin mallaka sun hada da kasar Burkaniya kasar Italiya kasar Portugal kasar Holland wanda ake cikin mata duce kenan da kasar Italiya da sauran wasu kuma kana da kasashe hanyoyin da suka bi wurin aiwatar da mulkin mallaka a kasashen Afirka da kuma bangaren Asiya ko kuma ke a kasashen Afirka da yawa akwai hanya ta farko shine amfani da ilmin kan asiri wato su ne mutanen farko da suka fara dora kafarsu a cikin yankin Afirka kuma wayannan mutanen sanannu ne sai rubuta littattafai da walafa walafi irin na abubuwan da suka gani a yankin Afirka wurin shekara 200 zuwa shekara 300 da suka wuce mm. mutum na farko da ya fara zuwa yankin Afirka shine wani mutum da ake kira Prince Henry wanda yazo ta bangaren kogin Atlantika zuwa bangaren abin da ya shafi yankin India mm. akwai irin sama Bapak wanda ya rayu zakanin shekara ta 1771 zuwa shekara ta 1886 shi mutumin Scotland ne kuma likita ne na Pida sanan akwai Saho Clapton wanda ya kafe shi a shekara 18 ga watan Mayu na shekara ta 1788 ya rasu a Sokoto a 13 ga watan April na shekara ta 1827 sanan akwai Richard Lemon Landa daga shekara ta 1804 zuwa shekara ta 1834 wannan mutum ne ya zo yankin Afirka ko uku ba kai sai kana dan da yawa wadanda suka zo akwai Henry Bad wanda haka ya fisha 66 daga watan Fabrairu na shekara ta 1821 wanda mutum Dr. James ne ya iya rubutun Larabci ya kuma iya magana da Larabci ya yi rubutu ya yi wallafa wallafe wanda ya rubuta wani katin littafi mai jizigi guda biyar da turanci da kuma harshen jamusanci a inda ya fadi kasuwanni da yanayin yadda ake cinikayya da yanayin yadda ake kasuwanci da yanayin yadda ake tafiyar da mulki da yadda mu'amala take a kasashen Afirka wai na mutanen da suka bada bayanai na lekin asiri da turawa mulkin mallaka da shekara 100 ta zagayo shine sai suka fara turo mutane yana gudanar da harka irin da kasuwanci kuma abin da ya shafi lekin asiri na jama'ar mutane Afirka hanya ta biyu da suka bi ya kafa kafa amfani da manya manyan kamfanonin yan jari hujja wato trading companies kenan a turanci to idan ka duba za ka dinkin yankin da ka je na kasar Afirka za ga akwai irin wadannan manya manyan kamfanonin da aka kafa domin dike ta tallan azikin mutane kasashen Afirka ta bangaren Noma da kuma abin da ya shafi kasuwanci sai akwai British East Africa Company wanda aka kafa shi a gabacin wato Afirka a shekara ta 1888 wanda shine ya tabbatar da ka mai kasar Kenya ta dawo kasashen mulkin mallaka karkashi wato mulkin Britaniya har zuwa shekara ta 1893 sannan akwai British South Africa Company BSAC kuma an kafa su a shekara ta 1889 karkashin jagoranci wani da ake cikin Mr. Cecil John Road wanda suka amfani da karfi wurin dawo da yankunan Malawi da yankunan Zambia da yankunan Zimbabwe a karkashin yan mulkin mallaka mm. har yanzu a shekara ta 1923